Did you know that garlic, a common ingredient in our kitchens, can be toxic to your pets? Yes, that's right. That little bulb of garlic you use to add a punch of flavor to your dishes could be a hidden menace to your four-legged companions. Garlic and its family members like onions, leeks and chives are part of our everyday culinary lives, but they contain a substance called theosulfate. While thiosulfate is harmless to us humans, it's a different story for our pets. For them, this compound is a silent threat lurking in the seemingly innocent cloves of garlic. It's something that most of us aren't aware of and it's high time we shed some light on it. So, why is this common kitchen ingredient a potential danger? And how does it impact our pets? It's all about that pesky thiosulfate. And we're going to delve deeper into that in our next segment. If you're a pet owner, keep listening to learn why garlic is a hidden danger for your furry friends. So, why exactly is garlic toxic to pets? The answer lies in a substance called theosulfate. Let's break it down. Theosulfate is a compound that is naturally present in foods like garlic and onions. For humans, it's no big deal. Our bodies can process it just fine. But for our four-legged friends, it's a whole different story. You see, pets, especially cats and dogs, lack the ability to properly digest thiosulfate. This inability leads to a disruption in their red blood cells. When the thiosulfate enters their bloodstream, it attaches to their red blood cells and causes them to rupture. This rupture of red blood cells is a condition known as hemolytic anemia. Hemolytic anemia is as serious as it sounds. It's a condition where the body can't replace the red blood cells as quickly as they're being destroyed. Think of it like a leak in a water balloon. The balloon is losing water faster than you can fill it back up. This creates a dangerous situation for our pets as red blood cells are crucial for carrying oxygen to the body's tissues. So, what happens when a pet ingests garlic? Well, symptoms of garlic toxicity can vary widely and often depend on how much garlic the pet has consumed. Common signs include lethargy, pale gums, elevated heart rate, panting, and even collapse. In more severe cases, the pet may experience vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. It's a distressing condition that can rapidly escalate if left untreated. But here's the thing. Garlic toxicity in pets is not always immediate. It can take a few days for symptoms to appear, which can make it tricky to connect the dots back to that garlic infused meal. Understanding the science behind garlic toxicity is crucial to ensuring the safety of our pets. It's our responsibility to keep our furry friends safe. And that includes being aware of the hidden dangers lurking in our kitchens. Now, how can you tell if your pet has ingested garlic and is suffering from its toxic effects? Garlic toxicity symptoms can vary from pet to pet. However, there are some common signs that you can look out for one such symptom is vomiting. If your pet has ingested garlic, their body might react by trying to expel the toxic substance, leading to bouts of vomiting. Diarrhea is another symptom that can be indicative of garlic toxicity. Similar to vomiting, diarrhea is a way for your pet's body to attempt to rid itself of the harmful substance. It's important to note that both vomiting and diarrhea can cause dehydration, which can further exacerbate your pet's condition. Another symptom to watch out for is weakness. Garlic toxicity can cause damage to your pet's red blood cells, leading to anemia. This condition can cause your pet to appear lethargic, weak, and uninterested in activities they would usually enjoy. Changes in urine color can also be 
a sign of garlic toxicity. Dark or discolored urine can be a sign that your pet's body is trying to flush out toxins or it could indicate a problem with kidney function. Finally, garlic toxicity can also cause changes in your pet's breath, such as a garlic or onion-like smell. While this might seem like an obvious symptom, it can be easy to overlook, especially if your pet regularly consumes human food. Now, if you notice any of these symptoms, it's crucial to seek immediate veterinary care. Garlic toxicity is a serious condition that can lead to severe complications, including organ failure and death, if not treated promptly. Remember, the sooner your pet gets the help they need, the better their chances of recovery. The key is to be alert and vigilant. You know your pet better than anyone else. If something doesn't seem right, trust your instincts and get them the help they need. Knowing the symptoms of garlic toxicity can potentially save your pet's life. Having understood the dangers of garlic toxicity, how can we ensure our pet's safety? Well, the first step is prevention. Simply put, keep garlic out of your pet's reach. Remember, just because it's up on the counter doesn't mean it's out of reach for a particularly determined or agile pet. Consider storing your garlic along with other potentially toxic foods in a cabinet or pantry with a door that closes securely. But it's not just whole cloves of garlic you need to worry about. Garlic powder, garlic salt, and even some sauces and seasonings can contain garlic. So it's crucial to be mindful of the ingredients in the foods you're giving your pets. This extends to pet food and treats as well. Always read the labels and if you're unsure about an ingredient, do a quick search or check with your vet. Now you might be thinking, well, I don't give my pets human food and I always check their pet food labels. They're safe, right? Not necessarily. Accidents happen. A piece of garlic could fall on the floor while you're cooking or a well-meaning friend or family member might slip your pet a treat without realizing it's harmful. That's why it's essential to educate others about garlic toxicity. Inform your family, friends, and anyone else who might be around your pets about the dangers of garlic. Make sure they know not to feed your pets anything without your permission, and especially not to give them anything containing garlic. Even with these precautions, it's important to have a plan in case your pet does ingest garlic. Know the signs of garlic toxicity that we discussed previously and have your vet's number handy. If you suspect your pet has eaten garlic, don't wait for symptoms to appear. Contact your vet immediately. By being vigilant and knowledgeable, we can protect our pets from the hidden dangers of garlic toxicity.